Hey, Coronation, and welcome to day 69. I'm here with Samuel. What's up? Hey, Slammer. Hey, guys. Um, uh, how you been? Uh, you, you know, I've been good. I've been good. You know, good. just chilling. Yeah. yeah. Switching things up a little bit because Andrew's currently at the beach. Yeah. Roughing it. Oh, man. Having some fun with his boys, I'm sure. Um, but we need to keep this going. Like, we can't just stop at yeah. day 68 and be like, we're done. Yeah. Um, so, determination. Uh, we're putting it into practice. That's what we're doing. We're showing determination. Yeah. Um, so, what do you want to do? Mm, I think we've already done that. Okay, okay. Um, Just kidding. Yeah. No. Oh. Safety first. We did the Will at Burn game. We should bring that back. Anyway, uh, what else? Can we get a new building and move everything over there? We've done that too, but oh. for real, we have done that too. Oh, yeah. All right, think. We're determination. The theme's unstuck. unstuck. That we, we just can't. Just Don't give up. Just keep going. Sticky game. I did that a few days ago. Yeah, you did okay at the sticky game. Um, we've done things with sticky notes. We sticky did one where we wrote stuff down and stuck it to each other. It was pretty good. I've got an idea. Okay. Sam's not here. Andrew isn't here. No, he's so at the beach. So we take our sticky notes and we stick them <coughs> to his desk. I only have a couple of sticky notes Just a few? though. Oh. Hmm. I have this many. Here, you take those. I'll take, okay, just a few sticky notes. I'll take these just in case, you know. Um, so we will show some determination. Um, the theme unstuck will allow Andrew to have the opportunity to unstick his desk when he gets back. Um, let's just do it right now. I'm done. All right. <laughs> Chronication. We have shown determination. I hope that you have learned something. You got to stick with it. Sam, thank you for helping with today's oh, video. Of course, of course. I think Andrew's gonna love it. What do you guys think? All right, let's check out this next thing. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapters six and seven. Stephen was the kind of guy you'd like to have as a friend, somebody you could count on. He could tell epic true stories. So then an angel appeared to Moses in the flames of a burning bush, and he heard the Lord say, I am the God of your fathers. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Stephen was always ready to lend a hand. Hey, let me carry that for you. Or offer a word of encouragement. I know this is tough, but you've got God's spirit to help. In fact, when people needed help, everybody thought of Stephen. See, the new church was growing quickly and there were people who needed food and special care. So Peter and the apostles came up with a plan. It wouldn't be right for us to give up teaching God's word to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven of your men. They must be known as men who are wise and full of the Holy Spirit. We will turn this important work over to them. Pick Stephen. He rescued my kitten from that tall sycamore tree. He helped my family while I was sick and couldn't work in the fields. Stephen, you're in. So Stephen and six other men were chosen to help care for the new believers. God filled Stephen with special grace and power to help him do this work. Wowzers. You can see that Jesus is with him. But not everyone was impressed. Rather than choosing to be joyful at the work God was doing through Stephen, there were some people that began to argue with him. No one does something for nothing. What's in all this goody-goody act for you? My friend, Jesus said the most important thing is to love God and love others. That's all I'm doing. 
Through the power of the Holy Spirit, Stephen had a wise answer for every question. At last, his enemies resorted to telling lies about him. I heard Stephen speak evil things against Moses and against God. This stirred up the religious leaders. They arrested Stephen and brought him before their gathering, the Sanhedrin. I haven't done anything wrong. This fella, he speaks against the law. I heard him say that Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this plague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says Jesus will change the practices that Moses gave to us. Everyone looked straight at Stephen, even the high priest Caiaphas. He doesn't seem upset. His face, it's like, like an angel's. <clears throat> Is what these people are saying true? Stephen looked up at the angry, accusing faces surrounding him. He knew these people could do anything they wanted, even kill him. But he also knew that no matter what, God was still with him. Brothers and fathers, listen to me. Stephen wanted these leaders to understand that Jesus was no small town rebel. No, Jesus was the fulfillment of a plan that God had set in motion with Abraham so long ago. The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham. Leave your country and your people, God said. Go to the land I will show you. Stephen continued the story of God's people through Jacob and Joseph and slavery in Egypt. The religious leaders listened, transfixed, as Stephen reminded them of God's work through Moses to free the Israelites and lead them to the promised land. He spoke of David and Solomon and the building of the temple. And then he took a deep breath and came to the heart of the story. You stubborn people, you won't listen. You are just like your people of long ago. Was there ever a prophet your people didn't try to hurt? And now you have handed God's promised one, Jesus, over to his enemies. You have killed him. I can't get him, get him, get him, get him. How dare you? Stephen, filled with God's spirit, stood his ground. As he looked up, God gave him a vision of heaven. I see heaven open. Jesus is standing at God's right hand. The religious leaders were so enraged, they shoved their hands over their ears and yelled so they couldn't hear another word. They rushed at Stephen. I'm telling you the truth. Rough hands grabbed Stephen and hauled him out onto the dusty stone road. A young man named Saul watched, fascinated, as the religious leaders brought Stephen outside the city walls under the scorching sun. Here, let me take care of your coats. Still filled with rage, the religious leaders left their coats with Saul. Then they began throwing stones at Stephen. And even through all this, Stephen's last words were filled with love. Lord, don't hold this sin against them. Jesus had told his followers to live out his love everywhere. And through God's power, Stephen continued to share God's love to his very last breath. All right, it's time to play a game. And this is one of my favorites that we've played before. We're bringing it back with a new version. It's called Will It Burn? And this time we're gonna celebrate graduation. So we're gonna see if things bird that would be associated with a graduation party or event. Now remember, always, don't catch stuff on fire. That's just crazy. These are trained professionals making these videos. You just get to play along at home. So you vote. Uh, follow along. Let's see. Do you believe it will burn? Will there be a flame or no? Let's check out these instructions. Okay. Variety of objects will be lit on fire by a propane torch for five seconds. Okay. You got 10 seconds to decide if it'll burn or not. Okay. It burns only if there's visible flame after the torch is removed. Okay, so torch, remove, flame, it'll burn. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Ooh, a diploma. Oh, that one's hard. Um. I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna say yes. Yes, okay. I'm gonna say yes, because there's paper and a diploma. There's paper and a diploma. Come on. It doesn't burn. 
You didn't do the paper! What is this? Table decoration? Oh, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes for table decoration. I don't know why. I just feel like that's a hard yes. I feel like that's a hard yes. Alright, let's see. It's what, uh, there's a lot of smoke. That's very promising. Yes! It burns. One. One for two. One for two. What is this? Ramen noodles? Oh, I've actually done this. It's... No. I believe it's no. I don't... You know what? I've never done this in my life. Um, no. I'm, I'm still gonna say no, though. I'm still gonna say no. I think this makes a bad smell. I think it's just gross. What? You're gonna do the styrofoam? That's not fair. You didn't do that for the diploma. Really? You, that's a cup, not the ramen noodle. <laughs> a notebook with paper in it? Uh... Yeah, that's gonna burn. And if they do something stupid, like try to burn the metal, I'm gonna, I'm really gonna debate this one. That's burning easy. Easy, easy. Yes! Burns. You didn't like the paper. What is this? Glue stick? Ooh. Glue stick. You know what? I'm gonna go with no. You know? What What else do I have to lose? No. I, I don't know. Doesn't look promising. Does not look promising. Does not look promising. Come on! It doesn't burn. Three. I got three. Are these peanuts? What is it? I feel like this is... Party peanuts. What's the difference between peanuts and party? Um, okay. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. 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 It burns. What? I believe this is rigged. A hundred percent rigged. Table centerpiece. They don't have these by candles. So I'm going to say yes to this. I'm going to say yes. It does burn. Oh, easy money. Easy money. It burns. Four. A graduation cap. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm going to... There's cardboard in it. There's cardboard in the hat. That's what gives it its shape. Ah, oh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I don't think it burns. I really don't think it burns. No. No. It doesn't burn. I'm a genius. A, a dog? Stuff in autograph dog. Who's the autograph by? Dude, no, I'm gonna get last second no, last second no, last second no. What? Good night, dude. Well, I'm not very good at that game. Probably you, hopefully you got a better score than five out of, I think it was 10. Um, but guys, thank you for playing Will It Burn Graduation Edition. And thank you all for tuning in for Coronation. We hope to see you tomorrow.